And we're going to look at the very interesting chart of George Harrison using uh, transformational Vedic astrology. He was born uh, February 24th, 1943, uh, 23 uh, mi minutes and 42 seconds, 23 degrees and 42 minutes, excuse me, uh, in Liverpool, England. When he was born, if you look to the eastern horizon, you would see the constellation representing Libra at five degrees. This degree of his rising sign becomes the most effective point of every house. And any planet that's within five degrees of that rising sign degree would have uh, impact. And in uh, his chart, K2 and Rahu are within five degrees. Uh, K2 and Rahu become functional. Uh, we're going to look at how the planets are operating in this chart. So we want to find out which, which planets will be challenging him in his life to grow and which ones will be supporting um, uh, his uh, abilities. So there's 12 houses. Every house, each of the houses has a certain... Uh, aspect of his life that it reveals and uh, wherever whichever uh, house has a multicona sign that is a house that he will be uh, working on in this lifetime so for example one four five seven nine and eleven uh are multicona signs. So these numbers represent signs. So this is the seventh sign of Libra ruled by Venus. And uh, this has to do with uh, uh, finding your higher self, uh, this first house. It has to do with longevity. It has to do with life purpose. Um, and uh, the ninth sign is a multicona sign, and it's a Sagittarius ruled by, excuse me, it's, um, yeah, Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. So this is uh, learning to communicate and express yourself and uh, be successful, uh, self-expression. Uh, then you look in the, this is the 11th sign of Aquarius uh, ruled by Saturn. And so this house has to do with educating self and others, children, and investments. Then we see the first sign of Aries located in the seventh house. Uh, this is ruled by Mars. And so this house has to do with partnerships and relationships. So he's working on partnerships and relationships in this life. Then we see the fourth sign of Cancer ruled by Moon in the um, tenth house of career. This means, you know, he's working on his career um, and it has to do with um, performing for the public. Um, then we see the fifth sign of Leo in the house of income. And so he'll be working on income and then the sixth sign of Virgo in the 12th house of enlightenment so he's working on enlightenment so these are things he's working on in his lifetime now any uh, 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 sign uh, multicona sign that's found in the sixth the eighth or the 12th house these are the houses that really can challenge us to grow in our life um, becomes a functional malefic for the sign of Libra. So we see the sixth sign uh, of Virgo ruled by Mercury. So Mercury becomes uh, a functional uh, malefic in this chart and uh, it can cause harm as well as Rahu and K2. And so uh, Mercury is uh, found in the, let's see here, in the house of happiness through family. Um, so uh, we need to keep our eye on Mercury. So um, let's look at how the planets are operating and how they have um, supported him or challenged him. Sun it is, uh, it rules uh, the house of incomes and friendships and it is placed in the um, 
fifth, sixth house, uh, fifth house, excuse me, uh, a Leo, and uh, it is um, in his chart. It is a uh, week um, because Saturn, the dispositor of that uh, house, is um, is also. A week, so a planet can be cannot be stronger than its dispositor. Um, so uh, it rules this house of income. It gave him great creativity and um, skills at organizing and leadership. Um, <clears throat> but it the dispositor is Saturn, and uh, Saturn is in this house of. Uh, obstacles and challenges so his father um, son represents father as well and so it uh, his father uh, left at an early age let's look at moon moon is ruling the house of career moon means public working with the public it means intuition it's very strong in his chart um, it's uh, close to the most effective point so that gives it also a lot of strength uh, it is um, um, so he gave, uh, gave good fame and peace of mind and his mother also was the one who encouraged him he didn't do, do very well in school um, uh, but his mother gave him a guitar at a very early age and, and he, he didn't really want to play guitar but his mother really encouraged him so that, that strong influence from his mother really helped him uh, blossom and express himself uh, Mars is any planet that's um, uh, ha more than 25 degrees or less than uh, 5 degrees uh, becomes old age um, or young age and those planets cannot protect themselves so they become weak and so it rules this house of relationships and partnerships. He did have a divorce and he did break, break up the, the Beatles and uh, it um, is placed in uh, this house of uh, expression. So the Beatles was that group where he expressed himself. And in 1970, during a, a Mars period, uh, the Beatles broke up. Um, and if you look at his divorce, he was also in a sub-period of Mars. Um, Mercury, uh, uh, became, remember, it's a functional malefic. It's at 16 degrees, and it rules this house of spiritual growth, enlightenment, but also losses and expenses. Uh, so uh, it it means really spiritual growth through letting go of attachments. So it's so you can't say it's a bad planet. It just challenges him to grow by by letting go of uh, attachments. So he actually um, died during a Mer Mercury period. Um, and um, uh, Jupiter is uh, ruling this house of self-expression and it's found in the house of good fortune um, so it gave him uh, it's very strong and it gave him great ex ex uh, success and with uh, the accent of spirituality in his music uh, teaching through his songs uh, like My Sweet Lord um, and it gave him ability to do charities uh, work um, like the Bangladesh concert where he raised a lot of money for um, lots of good causes. Uh, Venus is exalted. It's, um, it's in this house of challenges, uh, uh, conflicts, um, health issues and uh, it um, rules the house of longevity, um, and, and you can see when he died, his, uh, his Venus was afflicted, and um, it also, uh, let's see, this also has to do with taxes, and so he had some legal issues with taxes, um, he wrote the song Tax Man, let's see, um, so yeah. Um, Saturn is weak and it's in, and it's in the eighth house. It's debilitated, 
uh, in the Navamsa chart, and it rules uh, this house of creativity. Uh, so yeah, also Sun being in that house of creativity gave him a lot of creativity as well. Um, and uh, being in this house of research uh, and longevity, uh, you know, he did a lot of spiritual research, uh, searching for gurus, and um, he was early on, um, uh, went to Maharishi Mahesh Yogi's uh, ashram, and he was a part of the Krishna um, movement organization. Um, so Rahu is, uh, he was born in a Rahu period. So Rahu gave him great desire for wealth and fame. And uh, let's see, uh, it's very close to the most effective point. So that means Rahu and K2 afflict five, seven, six out of his uh, 12 houses. So one, the house of uh, friendships, he had a lot of conflicts in his friendships. One, two, three, four, five, this house of expression. Six, seven, the house of uh, creativity. Eight, nine, the house of relationships and partnerships. So that the break of the Beatles kind of comes into that. And then K2 is one, two, three, four, five, this house of good fortune. Six, seven, uh, friendships again. Eight, nine, and the self. So um, let's look at the timing of events in his life. Uh, so he, uh, he uh, Libras are a movable air sign. That means they go places, they do things. They're very air makes them very creative. Um, he was born into a Rahu period. Again, gave him great desire for fame and wealth. Um, he split up with the Beatles in 1970. That was during uh, a Mars period, which is uh, a sub period which has to do with um, um, the breakup. And then um, he was stabbed uh, in his house by an intruder in 12-20-1999. And uh, so that was uh, during a Mercury period, which can, uh, and K2 period, sub-period, which can bring unexpected events. He died um, November 29th, 2001, in a period that's a Mercury Sun period. Uh, and uh, remember, the dispositor of Sun is Saturn, which means longevity. Uh, and during that, that transit, um, Saturn was afflicting the house, the first house of longevity uh, as well. So. Um, uh, it was aspecting that first house of longevity. So um, Mercury, again, letting go, <laughs> death-like experiences, end of life, and sun, um, uh, weak. So that's the chart for uh, George Harrison. He's definitely my most fa uh, favorable beetle. Thank you for listening, and if you're interested in learning more about Transformational Vedic Astrology, you can go to our website at American Institute of Vastu. We have courses in astrology, or if you would like to get a reading, you can uh, sign up for a reading on our website, vastucreations.com.